Now, the way the header layout plugin works is first you determine how many rows you want to create. So in this case, we're going to be creating two rows. So select two and then hit save. Now remember I said that we can specify up to three columns in each of those rows. So that's the next thing we're going to do. And in header row one setting, we're going to specify two columns. And then header row two settings, we'll also specify two columns. And then we hit save. And now you can see this little diagram here shows us that we've got two rows with two columns in each row. And at the moment, each of these is automatically defaults as a widget area. So if we come over and look at our widget areas or our widgets under appearance and widgets, whoops, I select menus, widgets, the plugin has now created these four widget areas or sidebars. We've got header row one, widget column one, header row two, widget column two, widget header row two, widget column one, and header row two, widget column two. Now I actually demonstrated this earlier or practiced this presentation earlier and so what happened is these widgets, pre-populated widgets that WordPress 3.3 retained, I'm going to actually get rid of those at the moment. So you have essentially four empty widget areas now that have been created. Now we actually don't want them all to be widget areas, so we're going to go modify this next. But we come over here to our header layouts. The next question that we want to answer is whether or not we're going to use any thesis default header. Now we aren't going to use any of the thesis default headers in this case. If we did check retain thesis default header functions, then what we would next be requested to do is to select which row we wanted in and then which of the columns that we wanted in. But we aren't going to do that now, so we can just uncheck that and hit save. So we're not going to use any thesis default header. However, we are going to use a nav menu in the header. And so when we select this, we'll say yes, we'll include a navigation menu someplace within the header. And as you recall, that someplace is right here. We're going to put it right there. And then we're also going to place a search form somewhere in the header. So we can expand that. And now that we've selected those things, we have the choice of deciding where we want it to be located. So we want this in header row two. I think we're going to have to save this before we can decide which column we want it in. So the thesis nav menu is going to be in header row two. And the search form is also going to be in header row two. So now that we've said that, we can hit save again. And with that choice having been made, now we can choose which row it's going to go in. Now the thesis nav menu, or the nav menu is going to go in row one. And we don't actually want to put the thesis nav menu in there. We want to put this main menu in. This main menu is a menu that we've created under appearance and menus. So it's a WordPress menu. And any menu that we create using appearance and menus will show up in this drop down as well as the thesis nav menu. But we're going to put the main menu there. We want it in row two and in column one. And we have a choice of either the top or the bottom of the widget column. We're just going to, there's actually not going to be anything inside of the widget column. So it doesn't really matter which one we choose, but we'll go ahead and choose top of the widget column for that one. And then while we're here, we'll do the same thing for the search form. The search form is going to go in row two, but it's going in column two and at the top of the widget column. So now we can hit save again. And then there's just one other thing we want to do, which is eliminate the widgets from these two columns. Remember those two columns are only, if we come over here and take a look at it, this is only 40 pixels tall. So 
we don't have room for any widgets under here, so we don't want any widgets showing up. So we're going to turn the widgets off for row 2, column 1, and 2. And you do that by coming down to the row 2 settings and then widget column 1 settings and column 2 settings. And what we do is go all the way to the bottom of those settings and select check to remove the widgets from this widget column. We'll do the same thing in column two. Scroll all the way down, check to remove 